It's amazing how much progress has occurred since July and August of 2011. Here are some pictures of what it looked like inside the old boathouse prior to its demolition and the beginning of the new White Debris Wrong Center. After the old boathouse was demolished, the topsoil was removed and fuel was added before enormous telephone poles were driven in as pilings. And we began using the trailer outside to store the boats for the fall and spring. majority of the tank and also the elevator pit today they're pulling the foundation and they expect to involve 80 concrete trucks today pouring the foundation so it will certainly be a busy day at the site uh, and uh, all the extensive uh, rebar and seal work that they've done will soon get covered up. Uh, we're also back pulling around the uh, site. So uh, by the end of today, the pad, which already had uh, some considerable form, will uh, have made quite a bit of progress. Here are a collection of photographs showing the progress on the exterior from November through June. I can't tell you how excited I was when I saw the detail of these limestone medallions that will be installed on the north and south gables of the wrong center, and even more excited when I actually saw them in place. Over two months ago, the basic walls had been completed, but now the walls have been painted and the ceiling grid has been installed. And we'll go down the hallway into the men's locker room. Certainly I'm very excited about the progress on the exterior, but wait until you see these locker rooms. The restrooms have made so much progress. The showers, fixtures have been installed, and the urinals and the toilets are being installed now. There's a really attractive epoxy flooring in both the hallway and in the locker rooms. The lockers have been installed, and the fixtures are finally in place. Now we're back in the first floor exercise space. This open area has 2,000 square feet and is separated from the rolling tanks by a glass partition.
While not completed, work on the tank is continuing into its sixth month. The tank has seen quite a bit of progress. The framing for the deck has begun. The tank is almost complete. It has only two weeks to go and then it will be filled with water. We're now looking from the first floor exercise space into the three boat storage bays. Overhead lights have been installed and the walls have been painted. The stairway leading from the lobby area to the Ulmay Lounge is yet to be completed. In March, the framework for the ceiling in the lobby had been installed, and they have since installed the drywall. Outside on the balcony of the Illumai Lounge. The height of the ceiling in the Illumina Lounge is spectacular. The windows open up on the lake and you can see almost the entire lake. We're going from the Alumni Lounge, passing by the food preparation area, into the second floor exercise space. The second floor exercise space includes 2,900 square feet of usable space. A few of the walls have yet to be framed. The drywall has been hung and the overhead lights have been installed. The ceiling and the upper part of the walls has now been painted and it really starts to look like a room. The walls are finished, the carpet's installed, now the only thing left to do is to pick up the paper and to start installing the equipment. There's still a lot to do, but the progress has been incredible. I'm looking forward to the project being completed, moving the equipment in, and even more, having the athletes use it. What an incredible gift this is to the school and to the rowing program.